Hey guys, what is up? I know it's been a while since I've made a video, and this is the updated tutorial you guys have been asking for. So, um, we are going to get a new updated version of Visual Boy Advance, which the link will be in the description. It's going to be right here. So, basically, you just click download, it'll download, and this will pop up. And so you pretty much open that file, it's going to give you an option to drag it to your application folder, and you do that. So I've already done that, and I drag the application to my desktop or my dock. So I just click on it, that's simple, you just um, start the, this is how you start the application and how you will pick your ROMs. So now we're going to talk about the ROMs. The ROMs you're going to download from the same website, it's called coolrom.com, I'll put it in the description. And so pretty much you can pick any of these, just click on it. Let's say I have Emerald, so I'm, I'm not going to download it again, but if you wanted to get Emerald, um, you just click on this page, and you scroll down, and you click Download, and it will download. So back to Visual Boy Advance. Now that we have it downloaded, you obviously unzip the file, and this folder will pop out. And so Visual Boy Advance recognizes that, so pretty much you click that little arrow in the Pokemon Emerald file and you click on the .gba file and you click open and so pretty much the game will start up um, like normal like if you were playing it on your Game Boy and um, ignore this part where it says the battery has run dry that's just normal just skip past this and I've already created a file so I've already started and what you need to realize is that uh, it's going to do this little thing. But what, what you need to realize is that when you go to save it, you have to save it in the game, the actual game option, like if you were going to save it on the cartridge. And then you also have to go up to this option part where it says freeze game state. You have to click that, and it will save it. And if you close the application and you restart it, it will uh, put you back where you you know where you left off. And so pretty much that's it. Um, you don't have to drag any ROMs to the folder or anything. You just do it as I showed you. And pretty much that's that's it. That's really all you have to do. It's much simpler than before. Um, if you run into any problems, please leave a comment. And that's pretty much it, really. Um, you can download all the ROMs that they have on that website. And pretty much this is this is all that there is. So I hope you guys liked it. I know it's been a while. I'm really sorry. Um, so if you guys like this video and it helped you, you know, you fixed your problems from before, you got the updated version, leave a like, and if you have any comments or concerns, just leave a comment down below, you know the deal, and be sure to follow me on Twitter if you have any other questions, if you, if I don't directly respond to you on YouTube. So, that's it pretty much, um, hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you later, peace.